Hello, my name is Josue Miguel Maridiaga. I play at Kogan High School. My jersey number is 77 and position I play is lineman. And the book we're going to read today is Treasure of Bedtime Stories. And I like this book because um, my parents would read this to me and it has multiple stories. And we're going to just read, um, we could read one. So the first, first story is going to be about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There was once a family of three bears. There were a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. The three bears lived in a cozy little house right in the middle of the forest. The three bears always started each day in the very same way. First, they washed their faces and paws with sparkling fresh water and sweet-smelling soap, and they made their beds and fluffed their feather pillows. After they were dressed for the day, they were down. They went downstairs for a nice breakfast of delicious porridge. You can see three bears eating. One bright morning, Mama Bear cooked the porridge and called her family for breakfast. Just as she did every day, every day, rain or shine, she spooned the porridge into their three balls, and they all sat down to eat. It's too hot! Exclaimed Baby Bear, tasting the porridge in his wee little bowl. We must let porridge cool for a little while, agreed Papa Bear and Mama Bear after they tasted the porridge in the bowls. The three bears decided to go for a walk while they while their hot breakfast cooled. Mama Bear took her basket in case they happened to find ripe blackberries to put on top of their porridge. See, they're leaving. They're gonna go for a little walk. Now, it just so happened that a little girl named Goldilocks was out walking in the woods that morning all by herself. She had been walking since quite early and she was feeling rather tired. She was hungry as well because she had left her house without eating breakfast. When Goldilocks saw the bear's little house, she thought it was a perfect place to rest. Goldilocks marched up to the front door and knocked, but there was no answer. The bears were still out taking their walk. So Goldilocks just let herself in. There's Goldilocks walking into the house. Goldilocks saw the three bears of Portage. Her mouth started to water and her stomach started to rumble at once. She decided that she simply must taste the porridge. First, she dipped the spoon into the great big bowl, the porridge to belo that belonged to Papa Bear. Ooh, this porridge is too hot, she cried. Next, she tried the middle-sized bowl that belonged to Mama Bear. This porridge is too cold. She last, she tasted from the wee little bowl that belonged to Baby Bear. This porridge is just right, she said, and she gobbled it all up. After she had eaten the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to rest. She went into the bear sitting room where she saw the three chairs. First, she sat down in the great big chair. The chair is too hard, she said. Next, she tried the middle-sized bear chair. The chair is too soft, she said, struggling to get out. Last, she tried the wee little chair that just the right size for her to sit in. The chair is just right, she smiled. But Goldilocks sat down so hard and that the wee little chair broke it all to pieces. By this time, Goldilocks was very smelly, sleepy. She tiptoed up the stairs and found three beds. First, she lay down on the great big bed. The bed is too high at the head, she said. Next, she tried the middle size bed. The bed is too high at the foot, she frowned. At last, Goldilocks lay down on Baby Bear's wee little bed, and she said, the bed is just right. Soon, Goldilocks fell fast asleep. There she is sleeping. And there's the bears in the back outside. A short time later, the three bears returned home from their walk. They noticed right away that, that things were not quite right. Papa Bear looked at his great big bowl of porridge and said in his great big voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bowl of porridge and said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Baby Bear looked at his wee little bowl and said in his wee little voice, someone has been eating in my porridge and has eaten all up. They are. The three little bears then went into the sitting room when they saw his great big chair. Papa Bear sat, 
said in his great big voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized chair and said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Baby Bear looked at his wee little chair and cried in all his wee little voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair and it's all broken into pieces. The three bears went up to the stairs uh, to their bedroom. Papa Bear looked at his great big bed and said in his great big voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. When Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bed, she said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear looked at her, looked at his wee little bed and cried in his wee little voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And there she is. Baby Bear... Wee little voice woke Goldilocks. She sat up to the fine three little bears staring at her. They did not ple they did not look pleased to see her. Quick as she winked, she rolled out the bed and ran straight to the window. She jumped right ar right out and ran off as fast as she her legs would carry her. The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. There she is running. Hope you enjoyed me reading this book.